Patrice Corro, I don't want to say her name because I'm going to fuck it up. But the co-founder of Black Lives Matter movement, uh, she said Candace Owens was outside of her house with a camera. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. But the thing is about it is um, the, the Black Lives Matter owner basically started this nonprofit. She started getting all of this money from, I guess, probably billions of millions and millions and millions of people around the world probably was donated to this campaign because it was really big during the George Floyd um, thing. And so many people that I knew personally uh, just wanted to help and that, that weren't even of color. A lot were of color, but a lot of people got involved. A lot of people wanted to put their money where their mouth was. So they donated to Black Lives Matter. Now they were saying, and they said, that this woman has spent all this money on this house, right? Or her personal house. And she had a Range Rover and all this other stuff or whatever. That's what they said she didn't did with the money. But in her defense, right? She started a nonprofit. She said that that wasn't the Black Lives Matter house. That was just her house that she had personally. Now, I know as a person that's getting into starting my own nonprofit that uh, you are the worker of the nonprofit. So you get basically, however you pay yourself, maybe you pay yourself a percentage, maybe you pay yourself a salary, whatever. Now in her defense, she may have paid herself a percentage that she gets for running this nonprofit because it is a lot. You know, she has to be the face out there. When such and such get murdered in the street, she got to go down there and, and do what she got to do. Now, I guess since things have slowed up and it's not as many outrage, it's not as much outrage in the media as far as like black people getting killed by cops, you know, because that's not the agenda right now. But, you know, so basically people are putting eyeballs on her, you know, and what she got with her money and all that stuff like that. So in her defense, it probably is she pay herself a percentage and she whatever. <laughs> I think, you know, by now, I think she might have been able to prove it. You know what I mean? That she wasn't mishandling funds but or whatever. Or she could just say what she paid for, who, what, where, why. But that don't get no reason for you to stand outside that lady house. The only thing I think that um, Patrice did wrong, the founder of Black Lives Matter, the only thing I think she did wrong was called Candace, woman, Candace, Candace Owens a black woman. She ain't a black woman. So I correct you right there. Um... Uh, Black Lives Matter owner. Candace Owens ain't a black woman. She not. Uh, I think she doesn't even identify as a black woman. Um, and if she does, she shouldn't. Because um, she white on the inside. You know what I mean? And that's deep. She's so white on the inside, she couldn't even look at herself and her son. So she had to get a white man to, you know, procreate with her. So she can have a mixed race son so he can look white. You know what I mean? That's how much she don't. She ain't white. And I think that's, you can miss, just like you can miss gender somebody, you can miss, you know, culture somebody. I don't know if I made the shit up, but that's just my opinion. You just, she ain't, she ain't black. She, uh, they say she's tried, she tries to say what she say for the, um, now don't get me wrong. I do like Candace Owens a little bit. She do be saying some real shit. You know what I mean? And I don't, and I'll talk about that a little later, but <clears throat> I don't believe your political party should determine your skin color, honestly. Um, and I do agree with some of the things that she says, but some of the things that she says is some bullshit and she know it because she just be trying to get in there with certain people that feel like that so they can give her a nice little check. That's just what it is, for real, for real. She don't feel, and it was crazy because I seen her interview with Donald Trump. I watched the whole hour, which I even paid $2 for that damn dumbass little thing she didn't have. I think I still got the subscription because... I ain't watch it after that. That's crazy. You spend all that money on subscription. Don't even watch the shit. But anyway, I just wanted to see. I wanted to watch the interview because I love the information. And thank God I started this channel because now it's a reason that I can start doing it. You know what I mean? And I can charge it off. Like the Black Lives Matter lady. You see what I'm saying? You can charge it off as an expense. All this shit like that. Whatever. But it was crazy because after the interview, I heard some people. On, I saw some people on Twitter saying, she going to run for his vice president. Because she joked to uh, to say, because she, she be vice president. And I said, yo, what if this man really, could you imagine in 2024, Candace Owens and Donald Trump? 
They say never say never, especially with this inflation. Buy and better get it together. Hopefully Bernie Sanders gets um, something. Because that's the real person who we want in office. Just put Bernie up there and let it go. Hopefully he can do a better job. But anyway, the power is in us as the people. Power to the people. And, you know, us people too. We all family. We all together in this. You know what I mean? But, um... Like, share, subscribe, turn your notification bells on so you know when I post, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh my God, I hate, I put the flat and damn thing, and I don't even want it no more because I'm a dermatologist, but anyway. See you in the next video.